everybody, it's Jenny, and today I'm sharing a card using some of the new fun June release products from Miss Ink Stamps. Starting with the EIEIO frame set, along with the baddies stamp set, and the coordinating dies. You can find links to each of these products in the description box below, as well as a link to the full June release. So to get started on my card today, I went ahead and picked out four different papers, including this green plaid and three different metallic colors. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut out each of those to create my layers using the frame set. So I went ahead and ran each of those layers through my die cut machine, and I'm just going to line those up and set them aside. Next, I'm going to bring in my Misty and the Baddie stamp set, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp out the witch image onto some 80 pound Nina cardstock with some alcohol friendly ink so that I can color that in with my Copic markers. And once I have my image all colored up, I'm going to go ahead and use the coordinating die to trim it out. One of the sentiments in the baddie stamp set says, you're my kind of crazy. And so I want to use the letters from the frame die set to cut out the word crazy. So I'm just going to color in this cardstock using some rustic wilderness distress oxide to match the plaid green paper. And I'm going to cut the letters from that. I also decided to bring in a piece of black cardstock to add an additional layer behind my green letters, so I'm just going to trim out the letters twice, once from the green and once from the black. Once I have all those letters die cut out, I'm just going to go ahead and lay them out and layer them up and then just place them onto the card front for now and move on to the rest of the sentiment. So I brought in a piece of black cardstock and I'm going to go ahead and take the stamp and mask off the word crazy and then go ahead and heat emboss that with some white detail embossing powder onto the cardstock. So next I'm just going to start playing around with the layout of my letters and my image and once I decide on that I'm going to go ahead and start gluing down my layers.
While gluing down my layers, I decided to leave the topmost white layer unattached for now. To start gluing down the shadow layer behind my letters, I'm going to take a piece of washi tape and put that on my craft mat with the sticky side up and then go ahead and place all the letters on there. And then I'm going to use my um, pickup tool and add the green layer on top. Next, to get my letters straight, I'm going to use the grid on my craft mat and then again pick up all those letters using the washi tape to transfer that to my card front. So I wanted to embellish this top layer a little more, that's why I didn't glue that down when I glued down the rest of my layers. And so I initially brought in some black thread as well as this wax seal that is a skull and crossbones. And I ended up switching out the black thread for some silver thread. And in the meantime, I added some black and silver wax melt into my melting spoon. And while the wax was melting, I went ahead and took that silver thread and wrapped that around my card panel. And then I secured that in place with some washi tape on the back. So at first I wanted to add the wax seal directly onto my card panel, but I got nervous. So <laughs> I just went ahead and used my little silicone mat here so that I could take the wax seal off and just place it afterwards. And in order to attach the wax seal, I just went ahead and brought in some mini glue dots and added two to the back. Next, I went ahead and started gluing everything else down. And for the final step, I brought in a piece of white cardstock to create my card base and attach my card front. And here is my finished card. I think it turned out pretty cool. And it was really fun to play around with wax seals. I'm still super new to it, but I thought it was a fun way to add a new kind of embellishment that I don't usually use. I just had to give it a try when I seen this baddie stamp set. I think it matched pretty perfectly with the theme. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.